Kerry Ann here. I'm going to show you a family favourite from my house. It's a tuna pasta bake. It's delicious, it's affordable, but most importantly, it's really, really easy. In this dish, we've got a great number of ingredients, not loads. We've got some tin tomatoes, which are really, really rich. We've got some great tuna, which is good for you with all those omega freeze and then you've got the pasta holding it all together. But the best part of all is the crispy, crunchy bits of cheese on the top. Don't worry, if you've never cooked before or this is one of your first experiences, it's not gonna be difficult. I'm gonna be with you every step of the way and we're gonna have a great time. So, let's get started. I've preheated my oven. That's currently at 200 degrees, 400 degrees Fahrenheit or gas mark six. I've got a nice big pan of boiling water with a little bit of salt added. And now we're going to start on our tomato sauce. So first, I need a nice sized onion. So I'm going to cut it in half that way, so we're still keeping the root. Have a look at this now, my friends. This is why we keep the root on. It's sliced all the onion, but that little bit of root is holding it all together for us. So that's going to make it nice and easy for us to chop it fine up. I'm going to put this pan on a medium to high heat, because we want to fry off these onions with some garlic. Two nice fat cloves and I'm just going to roughly, roughly chop this, nothing extravagant. Now in this pan I'm going to add about a couple of tablespoons of olive oil and into that straight away I'm going to put my onions and my garlic. Now into these I'm going to add a nice pinch of dried chilli flakes. If you don't like spice you can leave it out, it's not a must but it is for me because I love it. And we just want to fry these until they're really soft and sweet. Now I'm going to add three tins of chopped tomatoes. Like that. And one more. Mix it all together. That looks great already. Do you see how easy this is so far? That's probably about as difficult as it's going to get. Now to this I want to add a nice handful of fresh basil leaves. If I haven't got fresh basil, what I'll usually do is just chuck in a good tablespoon of dried oregano or dried basil. I want to bring it to the boil and then I want it to simmer for about 20 minutes. Right, so the sauce is simmering away. Now in here I've got lots of salted boiling water and to that I'm going to add my pasta. I've got 500 grams of penne only because that's what I've got in the cupboard at the moment. Penne is probably the most readily available pasta. So in we go with the 500 grams of pasta. I don't want to leave none behind. That could be someone's seconds. Right, and we'll give that a nice little stir. You don't want to cook it all the way through because it's going to go in the sauce and then in the oven again. So I'm going to take that out just before it's done. This sauce has been simmering now for about 20 minutes, so now we want to add some tuna. I've got two tins of tuna. Get the, the tuna that you like best, whatever is the best quality that you can afford. And then the other one. We want to make sure it's evenly spread out through the sauce. There's a little bit of salt and a nice generous pinch of pepper. Right, so this pasta has been boiling for about eight minutes. I'm going to drain it now and then straight in to the sauce. Right now we just want to coat this pasta really, really well with all of this lovely, lovely sauce that we put so much love into. Now we're going to transfer this into an oven safe dish. So in we go with all of this. Look at the colours. I've got 150 grams of good cheddar. If you want, you can use parmesan, you can use mozzarella. I'm just going to quickly grate that. What I'm going to do now, look how difficult this is, guys. The kids could even do this. Just because I'm feeling in a bit of a fancy mood, I'm going to put a nice couple of small baby basil leaves on top. Just because it's made out of store cupboard ingredients and it's a really, really simple dish doesn't mean it can't look nice. Might even put a little pinch of black pepper on top as well. Add another little tiny drizzle of olive oil on the top. Now I'm going to whack this in the oven, 200 degrees, for 15 minutes, and I can't wait to see how it's going to turn out. 
So my pasta has been in the oven for about 20 minutes. I'm gonna get it out now. Oh yes. And that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Would you ever believe that that was made from a few ingredients out of your store cupboard? Look, it's all crispy and crunchy around the edges. It's all ooey and gooey in the middle. I need to dish some up. Oh, look at that. Not mushy, but just lovely. Mmm. It's really, really rich, but yet yeah, meaty from the tuna. And then you've got the cheese that adds a little bit of salt. Most importantly, my friends, enjoy yourselves. Have fun and happy cooking.